Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about using comments in C. Now, a comment is a special block of code in C, which actually gets ignored when we run our program. So if you want to write a comment, you can use a special starting and ending tag and any of the text, any of the code, anything that you put inside of that tag isn't going to get executed or really looked at by C. So we can use comments to do all sorts of things. You know, you can leave little notes or little comments inside of your program. You can use comments to uh, temporarily disable certain lines of code. They can be really useful. So I'm gonna show you guys the basics. Down here in my program, if I wanna create a comment, I can start a comment using a forward slash and an asterisk. And you'll see when I put this asterisk in, all the code in my text editor changed color. And basically what this means is anything that comes after this forward slash and asterisk is gonna be considered a comment. In order to close off the comment, I can use an, another asterisk and another forward slash. And you'll see the code changed back to normal code. Inside of these two asterisks, I can basically write out anything I want and it's gonna get considered as a comment. So for example, if I you know wrote out like, my program and I ran my program, this whole thing is gonna get ignored by C. So it's just gonna print out comments or fun, it's not gonna do anything else. And you know, like I said, comments are really useful. So I could leave a little note up here, I could um, write something like to do, like I have to do something. Um, and a lot of times people will use comments to explain certain lines of code. So I could put a comment here and I could say like this, print out text, right? So maybe, you know, this was like a really complex uh, line of code. We could use this text in order to explain it. You can also use comments to do something called commenting out a line of code. So for example, let's say I wanted to run my program, but I didn't want to have this line of code in there. Well, one thing I could do would just be to delete the entire line of code, right? So I could delete this code and now I can run my program and it's no longer gonna print it out. It's no longer gonna do anything. But here's the problem. In order to do that, I had to actually delete the line of code. So instead of deleting it, I could just bring it back and I could comment it out. So I could basically surround it with these comment tags and now the computer is just gonna ignore it. So it's not gonna render it because it's been commented out. So now when I run my program, it's gonna do the same thing. It won't execute that line of code but I didn't have to actually delete the line. I could just comment it out. So a lot of times when you're writing programs, you might wanna to try to run your program without a certain line or a certain you know, series of lines of code. And instead of deleting them and then running the program, you can just comment them out and C will basically ignore them. So that can be really useful. So those are the two basic uses for comments. And you know, essentially comments are open, right? It's just a way that we can write out information in our files that won't get rendered by C. And so you can really use comments to do whatever you want. Now I will say one best practice with comments is to use them sparingly. Generally, you only wanna use a comment when you absolutely have to. So it can be really annoying if you open up a C file and there's like comments littered all around. And obviously if you wanna put a bunch of comments in your code, I mean, no one's stopping you. But as a best practice going forward, I think generally, only using comments when they're absolutely necessary is kind of like a good practice. But again, it's open, you know, you can use comments for whatever you want. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.